Yum, yum! Oh, good morning. Welcome to Pixel Fondue. My name's Chris. Uh, we're in ZBrush today doing a little bit of a remeshing situation. We're doing some projection and some remeshing. Kind of getting an idea of this uh, little centaur, or not centaur model, but a uh, cyclops model. All right, this is uh, the mesh I worked up trying to sculpt in Moto 11 for a little while. And then I get to a certain point in Moto where I think it's just time to jump into ZBrush. And this is the model that I froze out and brought into ZBrush. And I'm starting to do some remeshing on this thing to see if I can get some better uh, loops. And it does work out pretty well as we kind of work through this a little bit. I have some trouble up in the eye, lower eyelid. And uh, later on that uh, you guys didn't see this, I ended up taking it back into Moto and re topoing the eyelid area in the topo tab of Moto, and I kind of got the loop on that thing a little bit better. For right now, I'm just kind of walking you through what the Z remesher settings over on the left-hand side resulted in. They weren't too bad. I'm just stepping through the timeline to show you the changes that uh, ZBrush pulled through. Overall, not too bad. Now you can see the lower lid area just isn't really going to work out too well, so that's why I had to go retopple that one. I'll show you that to you in another video probably. But this is what uh, resulted from just ZBrush pushing some buttons. All right, so I've got this uh, set up. Now I put one in the background and one in the foreground. The high mesh sculpt I worked on in ZBrush for a little bit, and that's what I'm going to transfer those details onto this new topology. So I'm going to go up here and dig in and find the not the remesh, the project. Right, this projection right now. Usually I turn the blur down, turn this distance all the way up. Uh, the blur I think I drop down again. Pretty sure I do. I'm narrating this so I've already done it so I gotta kinda remember what I did. Right, so the high res mesh is in the highest sub D level. Right, that's the details I'm trying to grab. So I put that in the background. I've got my target mesh in the foreground, and then I hit project all. Now, if you notice, not a lot happened. They're not really uh, set up yet. So I use this project shell. So I drag that until it's completely covering the other mesh. Then I let go, then it snaps into position. Right? It kind of takes a little bit of practice to get that. You just pull it up, then let it go once you think you got it all covered. So I project it all, and it does a pretty good job. All right, I got a high mesh going into a lower mesh. And we see what happens there. Turn the blur down a little bit. So what I did, I uh, see what kind of results. Now this right here was a good result. I could use this, right? I'm not really worrying about the high res detail. I'm just working on the uh, fundamental forms I'm going to work with on the next model. All right, so I'm going to work on the next one here. I'm going to try it again. So I've got the uh, base mesh that I was working on. I want the detail from this one to go into the next model. So I'm going to go back into my next model and I got the sub D level up to 2 now on this one. So it'll capture a little bit more detail. So now I went up to a third resolution. right? Third sub D level. That thing's at 2. So I'm going to get this thing in the foreground, that one in the background. And I am going to hit the projection shell again, make it sure it's a little bit larger. It snaps back into position, then I project all. That right there is good enough. That works out pretty well. I captured just enough of that detail, a little bit of the strokes were coming through. And now I can keep working on this one with a little tighter uh, typology. Right, so I Z, I Z remeshed the 
Moto model, and then I projected the details back down. See ya. Yum, yum!